Hi there. As the uh, self-professed world's biggest Beatles fan, but also a big fan of movies that make us question the nature of reality, you know, movies like Vanilla Sky, The Matrix, Inception, I was anxious to see Danny Boyle's Yesterday. Now, this video will have spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, please do watch it before watching this video. It is a movie worth seeing. Yesterday tells the story of Jack Malik, a struggling singer-songwriter who, during the course of a 12-second global blackout, is struck by a bus and put into a coma. He awakes in hospital and later learns that he is seemingly the only person on the planet who remembers the Beatles. That is the premise, and you can certainly see why a Beatles fan who loves reality-challenging movies would be excited to see it. The creators of Yesterday made some choices that I feel got in the way of the story, the worst being that they decided to make it a romantic comedy. Undoubtedly, they believed that would maximize the movie's audience, and they're probably right about that. But I can easily imagine other plot lines that would do greater justice to this fantastic premise. And I did think they would go in a different direction when I saw what I can only now call red herrings when first watching the film. The Beatles are not the only thing that has been erased from Jack Malick's new time. Jack discovers two other items that the world has forgotten. Have you a Pepsi? Have we not got any Coke? The first being Coca-Cola. But they never capitalize on this plot point. And it's easy to imagine Jack getting into some legal problems asking people for Coke, by which they can only assume he means cocaine. You'll note that when Jack Googles Coke, he is taken to a page about Pablo Escobar, probably the world's most famous cocaine dealer. On seeing this, I really thought they were setting that up, but no, it's a red herring. The third thing erased from Jack's timeline is cigarettes. They reach this plot point relatively late in the film, but when I saw it, I really thought they, were, they might be setting up a world in which George Harrison was still alive. Harrison, you likely know, died of cancer directly related to his lifelong smoking habit. But in a world where cigarettes never existed, it would be quite possible George Harrison would be alive in 2018. Again, he's a red herring. They don't develop it at all. In a similar vein, the filmmakers present a very tantalizing scene used to good effect in the trailer, where it appears that Jack is to be confronted by surviving Beatles Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. But this disappointingly turns out to be nothing but a dream sequence designed to highlight Jack's guilt and shame over stealing the Beatles' music. All of your tunes are the work of their band, the Beatles. I don't know. see how this plays out shall we ladies and gentlemen all the way from liverpool england please welcome mr paul mccartney and mr ringo Starr. now i've been very critical of yesterday so far but let me tell you one thing that i think they got right and this is a huge spoiler about three quarters of the way through the movie there is a short sequence in which Jack Malik meets a 78-year-old John Lennon. That's right. Of course, there being no Beatles, John did not become famous and did not become an assassin's target. In this alternate universe, John Lennon lived. For any Lennon fan, it is an emotional scene and, as far as I'm concerned, carries the entire movie. Makes the whole thing worth watching. In an uncredited performance, actor Robert Carlyle, best known for films like Train Spotting, the Full Monty, and the US TV series Once Upon a Time, gives us a glimpse into the wise old soul that Lennon might have become. It felt almost like a reunion of sorts, and I genuinely feared it. So even though in many ways yesterday disappointed me, I have to give full marks to any movie that can touch me like that. Thank you for listening. You're a bit complicated. Sorry, what was your name? Jack. There were complications, young Jack. Loss and gain. Prejudice and pride. But it all turned out just 